Hello everybody, welcome back to Drawing the Weather. Today I'm going to be drawing clouds and fog. And it's going to be kind of a more of a um, tips and tricks video, uh, looking at different erasers and blending tools and stuff like that. Alright, so let's get started. So I have two sections and we're going to start on the left side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tone this side of the page. And how I'm going to do that is uh, by sharpening this woodless graphite pencil over the paper. chunks of the, uh, the casing are coming off. That's better. <clears throat> then I'm going to take a napkin and uh, blend it all in. Okay. So when drawing clouds, most of the time I usually like to start out with a, a pencil cap eraser. As you see, this one has had some use. And I just go in and make circular motions, and creating that cloud shape. Go in with a dusting brush, and then go in with a 2B pencil and indicate some shadows. Mainly on the base of the cloud. Seems like the light source is coming down this way. A bit up in the cloud as well. And then what I like to do most of the time is blend with a Q tip. Gives it a nice soft appearance. And then we can go in with a eraser pencil and maybe create some highlights or and enhance some highlights. later on the other side of the cloud there. And then dust and brush. Then erase the filings. I'm gonna get some more highlights in here. Bring them down a little bit. I'm also using circular motions for the most part. And 
and you can also use the eraser pencil itself to create clouds. These are great for making the smaller kinds of clouds, like alto cumulus. Or even cirrus clouds, which are wispy. And then we have a kneaded eraser, which is one of these. Just gonna pull it apart and kind of just knead it. That's why it's called a kneaded eraser. And uh, sometimes it's needed for certain projects. <laughs> All right. Well, this isn't the best one in the world, but. And usually how I like to make clouds with these. So I like to just kind of, kind of tap and twist. The clouds usually aren't as well defined with these most of the time. But it does make some nice soft cloud like shapes. You can also just kind of dab the graphite off. This is also particularly good for partic particularly good for creating fog. But I'm just gonna create some clouds with this. Or just one big mass of clouds. And then you go in. You either work on the shadows first or you can go in with the highlights. I'm going to go in with the highlights first. Just use that eraser pencil to get some of those highlights in. Kind of follow the contours of what's already there from what the needed eraser picked up. I'm going to go with HB this time. I used a 2B on the bottom of that cloud. I'm going to go with HB with this one. with the uh, Q-tip. And then another eraser that we can use is a retractable eraser.
This also creates softer looking clouds. But it picks up more graphite than the needed eraser. It's gonna add a touch of some shadows on the bottom of these clouds. And back in with the Q-tip. There we go. Now I'm going to create some fog. So I'm going to go back in with the kneaded eraser. I'm just going to dab away some of the graphite down here at the bottom. You can usually it's best to just kind of lift, but since this kneaded eraser is kind of, uh, I don't know, not working as well as some of the others. Well, I guess it's working better down here. So that's graphite. I'm going to tap and twist. And create like a hazy mass of clouds. Then I'm going to uh, just blend that out a little bit. Oh, graphite on there. Just probably use a uh, <laughs> clean edge there. Clean part of the napkin. Looks too much like a cloud. I mean, a fog technically is a cloud, but. I want to make it look a little bit softer. Go in with the retractable eraser. Clean some of that up a little bit. Or make it worse. <laughs> Then just uh, I think I'll draw like a tree coming out of the fog. The, the Q tip to blend that. Alrighty. 
that's basically how you create fog. Of course, I go into more detail in my um, foggy landscape videos. Paper. Um, instead, I'm going to go in. Where is that pencil? Oh, right here. And go in and just apply the graphite directly to the paper. I'm only really going to do this uh, for the upper portion of the page, of the side of the page. Take my napkin and just uh, blend that in. Bring some of that down. So now we're going to be creating some darker clouds. And I'm going to go in with a 2B. And this is going to be mainly looking at blending. So I'm going to just indicate some some low dark clouds. So for the first, the, the lowest layer, I'm going to blend it using a napkin. And then using circular motion. You see it makes it really, really soft and kind of spreads it around. This would be good for like creating like an overcast sky feel. Like like uh, draw in the clouds and then go over it with the uh, <coughs> with the napkin and make a nice overcast sky. For the next cloud or the next layer here. I'm going to be using a Q-tip. And you can see it more or less retains that shape. You can move it around a little bit, maybe build some up here and there. Make it a little softer. And now we're gonna go in with a with a tortilla. On. And this is darker still. And that, of course, retains the, the cloud shape the most. And, tor and a tortilla is very similar to a blending stump, except uh, a tortilla is basically rolled paper. A blending stump is just, uh, well, I guess it's also rolled, but it's, it's more tightly rolled. And and it's usually just a little bit softer than the tortillon. Or some people like to call it tortillion. So now let's go back in and go and use the I'm gonna use the retractable eraser and create some clouds. 
and then we're gonna blend using the three different blending tools. So first I'm gonna go in with um, HB and get some shadows on these clouds. Alright, so just like last time, the bottom one I'm going to blend with a napkin. That makes a very, very soft cloud. Next, I'm going to go in with a clean um, Q-tip. A little bit more defined. And finally, the tortilla. has a much darker base. Alright, so that's just an overview of how to draw clouds and fog using different techniques with, um, with erasers and blending tools. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.